In any population of a species, you'll see variations. The phenotype of these birds are red and blue. The genotype in this case is a big B for the red allele and a little b for the blue allele. Because red is dominant, red birds can be homozygous or heterozygous for the trait and still be red. Population genetics is the study of evolution from a genetic point of view. When evolution in a population occurs at the genetic level, it's sometimes called microevolution. It's a change in the collective genetic material of a population. Recall that a population is a group of individuals of the same species that routinely interbreed. Populations are the smallest unit in which evolution will occur. Many people mistakenly think that evolution occurs in one individual, but actually it happens among a group, a species. There is some difficulty in defining a species, but we'll start with the biological concept of a species. It's a group of individual organisms that are capable of interbreeding to produce fertile offspring in nature. Now, some animals of different species will breed in captivity, but not in the wild, so the biological concept is specific enough to keep these as unique species. Any population will have variations among the individuals. Often, when you plot the trait and the number of individuals, you get a shape called a bell curve or a normal curve. This shape indicates that the average traits are the most common and the extremes are less common. There are several causes of variation in any population. Environmental factors, like the amount or quality of food available, the pH of the soil, and so on, will have an effect on the traits of organisms. Mutations, which are random changes in DNA, will also provide variation. Genetic recombination, which is the shuffling of genes during crossing over and independent assortment in meiosis. And lastly, the random pairing of gametes during fertilization. Which sperm, which egg will pair up? It's random. All of these variations in a population will make up the gene pool. Now, it's not a pool like a swimming pool. It's the total genetic information in a population. All of the alleles in that population make up the gene pool. Each population of a species will have some differences in their gene pool, which can make a difference in how they evolve and adapt in their environments. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.